City lawyer Asa Nyakundi will spend more days behind bars after the Director of Public Prosecutions asked the court to withdraw a case against him and charge him afresh. The office of the DPP says it is not satisfied with the charge of manslaughter preferred against the lawyer who is accused of killing his son. NTV Silas Apollo with this latest development that now presents a new twist in the case. In what could mean an introduction of tougher charges against city lawyer Asta Nyakundi, the prosecution today moved to court to ask for another date to present its case afresh. The team led by prosecutor Stella Oyagi argued that the charges of manslaughter leveled against Nyakundi were lenient compared to the nature of the crime he is facing. Prosecutor Oyagi today told Kiambu Senior Principal Magistrate Teresia Nyogena that the prosecution team had received fresh orders from the Director of Public Prosecutions, Nurdin Haji, to re-examine the case. The file is being reviewed by the DPP. I therefore pray that we maintain the mentioned date of 10th of May. The bone of contention in the matter is what investigators say is a deliberate attempt by officers tasked with the investigation of the matter and arguing it in court to omit key evidence and documents in papers filed before court. Part of the documents omitted, according to the Director of Criminal Investigations, George Kinoti, are the ballistic report, scene of crime analysis report, and photographs of the scene, and which has since seen two officers, including Senior Sergeant John Wahome, who led the investigations interdicted. The ballistic report, which Kinoti says form part of the crucial documents in the case, contradict some of the testimonies given by Nyakundi that he accidentally shot his son. The report says that the shooting must have been a deliberate one, given the angle through which the bullet hit the late Joseph Bogonko, as well as the direction it exited his body. Nyakundi has on the other hand maintained his innocence, saying the pistol in question went off accidentally while he was trying to retrieve it from the co-driver's seat. The city lawyer who has previously been linked to some of the high-profile crime cases in the country, including the NYS2 and a murder case involving controversial city preacher James Nganga, could now spend more time in police custody. Some of the witnesses lined up against him include his wife and son, both who have already recorded statements with the police. DCA George Kinoti says that part of the investigations will be on why key evidence was omitted in the final documents submitted before court matter that could see officers implicated charged alongside Asanya Kundi. Sailors Apollo, NTV.